is happening guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing the KW EDC cancellation kit. Should be relatively easy, sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee and enjoy the video. Chassis function limited. Continued driving, possible chassis. These are just a couple of the errors that will pop up when you unplug your EDC going to a coilover setup that does not have the EDC cancellation kit. But today we are going to fix that. All right, so if you guys are new here, we recently started working on my 2020 Supra. We installed the KW V3 coilovers. But with these coilovers, I decided to opt out of the EDC option. I don't use the EDC, I don't use comfort mode, I use one mode and that's sport mode. So really having the EDC wasn't that important to me. But if you do unplug the EDC from the car, you are going to get a chassis malfunction error that continually pops up. In addition to getting that error on your screen, you also cannot turn the traction control off on the car. Even if you try to, it goes right back into traction mode. Super annoying after a while and definitely something I don't wanna deal with. So KW actually makes a cancellation kit for this EDC. At first, I was gonna have this coded out, but after doing a little bit of research, a little bit of poking around in the forums, I found that it's probably not the best idea to code it out. It can create other malfunctions down the road. These cars are so smart, sometimes they're too smart for their own good. <laughs> but what I mean by that is you start to turn one thing off and it can trigger a series of other issues. So in my honest opinion, I think it's just smartest to go with the EDC cancellation kit. That is what this kit is designed for, but this will cancel the EDC errors that we get and allow me to use my traction on, traction off buttons. As far as I can tell, this is a relatively easy install, like a plug and play type deal. We're gonna have to go ahead and jack the car up, remove the wheels, and I will show you where the EDC cables are located. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending out the KW EDC cancellation kit. If you guys are interested in a set, I will leave it linked down below. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so here is everything that comes in the package. Um, you have a bunch of zip ties and you'll see why later. The instructions do have some photos here to kind of show you where things go. Here are the four units that your current EDC plugs will plug into. And then these are the actual brackets that you put onto the shock and then you connect these two. So pretty straightforward. Everything is uh, just plug and play for the most part. I did see some other types of kits online but from what I understand, this seems to be the best one out there. Um, they're all about the same price. I'm sure they all do the same thing, but I went with a KW V3 coilover, so I figured I might as well just keep it all KW. All right, so I'm gonna start with this side. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the side of the car and take off the wheels, and then I'll show you where the EDC is. So looking at the diagram that they have here, and then looking at my setup, obviously this is my EDC plug right here. This part that's carved out back here, this will be where the shock lies. So it should be something like this. They want you to put the 3M on this side, and that 3M will also be on the shock. So I think what we'll do first is take the 3M and we'll put this onto the shock and then we'll go ahead and zip tie this piece onto the shock. And then we'll go ahead and connect this to the new bracket that we put on the, uh, the shock. And then we should just be able to plug it in and that will be that for the fronts. I'm gonna take a little bit of isopropyl and a rag and just clean off that contact point. And it does make sense that you would put the 3M on here because obviously you know, you can have zip ties, but there's still that chance of it moving around. So you do want a little bit of 3M. Looks like it's more like a foam. It's like a lot thicker than just your normal 3M. Basically, just like that. Doesn't really have to be in any sort of direction. Make sure it's maybe a little bit lower so we don't hit anything. And we can still drop the car as low as we want. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Makes sense, right? And then you have the actual unit which will go on like that, and then we'll zip tie this to the bracket top and bottom. I don't think there's like really a right or wrong place to put it. You just don't want it to interfere with anything, obviously. I do know that when you do this part, you want these zip ties to lay in the grooves. 
That's what these are designed for. It looks like on their fronts, they only use one of these thicker ones to go across. So, I mean, whatever, not the end of the world. I have multiple extra zip ties, so I think we can kind of get away with whatever we want in this situation. But let's go ahead and throw this one on. plug it in so I guess that's the idea of it um, makes sense it's in there good I mean looking at it you could definitely run it doesn't really matter with the zip ties like however you want to do it you know their image had only one zip tie on the fronts for here but there's like a big thing in the way so I don't see how that would work seems fine I just wanted to make sure that wherever I positioned this it gave me enough room to if I wanted to lower things and that obviously it wasn't hitting anything. I think that's gonna be the most important point here. I uh, just wanna make sure that this, whatever you do when you're installing this is not interfering with anything that moves and then you still have room to adjust stuff. So theoretically, um, that should be good for the front and then that should eliminate any of our issues. Uh, now we'll go ahead and do the back. Looks like the back is just a little bit different, but same concept for sure. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky to film, but looking at the diagram and looking at the shock in the rear, looks like they want you to mount it here. Um, which makes sense because here's the EDC plug. So it looks like this one is mounted upside down. So it should be like that. You only have so much room in there. And you see how you have all of these moving parts around where it sits. Well, I found that the best method is to actually place the EDC cancellation unit on the bracket with the two zip ties and then go ahead and put it onto the shock assembly. I tried to do it with the bracket onto the shock assembly first and then do everything while I was in there. N not the way to do it. <laughs> Definitely a lot easier to just assemble it outside of the car. The way that you obviously want to do it, and you can probably do this for the front too. Assemble it on, zip tie it, and then go ahead and put your 3M right there and then go ahead and put the whole unit onto the shock assembly. That seems to be like the easiest way to do it. The reason I say that is because you really don't have that much room to work with back here. And this is like the only place where it's supposed to go. Everything else would hit something. So you have to be pretty precise about where you place it. Um, obviously if it got in the way and hit something, that would be no good. But yeah, everything looks good. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other sides now. And now that I've done these sides, it's a little bit easier to know how to do the other ones. Go ahead and knock them out, and we'll fire up the car, and hopefully we're all good. That worked out well. So yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. 10 times easier than trying to do it on the shock. Looks good. Hundred percent the way to go. So assemble everything off of the shock and then put it on the shock. And this should alleviate our issues. So let's go ahead and throw the wheels back on, bring the car back down, turn it on, and hopefully we're all good. Okay. Um, <laughs> cross your fingers. From what I understand, um, doesn't take anything else. Respect the BMW. <laughs> All right, man. Don't do it. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Oh, dude, I'm so happy that worked. So, everything worked. I didn't realize when I first deleted the EDC that it was gonna limit me from turning traction control off. I didn't realize that. I should have looked into it further, but I thought it was just like an error that would throw up and you'd be fine. Definitely not the case. So if you if you decide to 
roll without EDC, just know that the Supra isn't going to allow you to turn off traction control. It might say it, but then it'll kick right back on. So this worked. I'm so hyped. Oh man, I've been driving for a week without being able to use uh, traction control off. And if you guys know, you really can't do any like proper accelerations with your traction control on because the car intervenes every time it loses grip. So it's actually kind of like a big deal. If you decide to delete your EDC and you don't do it the proper way, uh, it'll limit you from throwing the car into traction control off mode. You're still able to utilize sport mode, but it's with full traction on. When I actually thought about it, I was like, dude, I just spent all this money on like a proper suspension. Why am I trying to like code things out? I should do it the right way, order the KW kit. So I'm really glad that my conscience kicked in and told me to go ahead and actually do it the right way, get the KW kit. Anyways, guys, we're good. Uh, that's it. This is really all this video is about. I'm super stoked that I got this figured out because it was honestly getting a little bit annoying having that error up on my screen and not being able to use the, um, the traction toggles. So we're good. If you guys are interested in the KW EDC cancellation kit, I will have it linked down below. Keys Motorsports, thank you so much for sending that out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next one. Trees and the cars, brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild cause they flashing they titties